Hello and welcome back and we continue. So let's fix things problems we have on the sign up page. So if I try to sign up, I will get call to undefined function validate. Okay. So let's go to our let me close this. Close all files. Let me go to the signup.php controller, and this is what we get. So the only issue here is that we don't have a validate function. We also don't have an insert function. So to do our bidding, we will say user is equal to new user. Okay, great. You don't need this either. You can just do it like that. It's still okay. So user validate should work and it will return the errors and finally we'll say user insert and that's it so just by doing that we've fixed the problems on the sign up page mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so let's try that and see if it works refresh refresh so if i sign up it still shows me what's missing so let's try mary and we'll say Mary at, I don't know, gmail.com. Let's use at email.com, email.com. And then let's put password as the actual password, password, and let's sign up. So there we go, we have a bunch of problems. So undefined variable columns on line 17 on model.php. So let's find that. Uh, model.php line 17. So this right here is complaining that it doesn't know what columns are. Well, okay, so this is supposed to be this. Put that there. Yep, and that should solve the problem. So let's try this again. Uh, did we save something? No, great. Let's refresh and resend. Oops, we are here. So which means everything worked out fine. And look at that. Everything did work out fine. Good. So now we can log in as Mary. So say Mary at email.com password enter. There we go. Very cool. Yep. This is good. This is good. So everything is working, sign up, working. Uh, now we need to be able to make, to add a product. So let's log in as the main person, which is email at email.com. And then password, enter. So there we go, it's the main guy. So now I want to be able to add a product. Now this add product thing will be in the admin section. So if I click admin, we have to design the admin section and then we can add a product. However, we did, wait a second. Do we have a view for products yet? Product new, yes we do. So, And there it is. So this is our new product page. So we can always just navigate to it, whether we are in the admin section or not. But I think the admin section is important so we can actually see the result of what we've added. So I will click on admin itself and uh, let's create a controller for this. So I will copy the home page, copy that and create a new controller called admin let me save this as admin.php so then this loads the admin view so this one i will put it in the admin slash admin no surprise there so i'm going to go to views create a new folder a new folder and call it admin and then inside here i will add the uh, what's this new file this is the admin view so let me copy the home view 
Eh, a little too much. A little too much. Let's copy the per oh, everything is a little too much. Anyway, I just want the header and the footer, these two bad boys. And save this one as um, admin dot view dot php so now if i refresh on admin this is what i get mm -hmm. so let me just add an h i don't know h4 and say admin that way we know we are on the admin page yes yes and then now i need a two column system the first part for my menu and the second part for the content so what i'll do is quickly add a div here and uh, duplicate this to add two divs so let's add some classes here so class one is container fluid So we not forget that we have bootstrap here so we can use its stuff and then now container fluid will make these guys go all the way to the left to the right let me add a border so we can see them uh, both of these so if i refresh they are right next to each other so what I'll do is I'll put column like this, which will make them sit side by side. We can't really tell the difference here. Let me just type this, type that. So content to show here. Okay, so there they are. They are one on top of the other. So to fix this, I'll put another div to support both. I'll duplicate that, move them inward like this. The class for this one will be column so this will ensure that everything here is on one column actually no this one should be row like this so let me move this refresh okay so as you can see one starts there one ends there and let me put container fluid on this one instead I'll leave this border and column like this and refresh okay so at least there's a bit of space there but this one is this one shouldn't be as big as this one because the other one has more should have more content so let's tell it that uh, I want this one to cover because there are 12 columns in bootstrap I want this one to cover three and this one to cover the rest so let me do this Alrighty then, so there we go. Maybe two even, ah, but three I think is fine. Yeah, three is okay, maybe two. Let's see what two columns will do. That looks much better. So in the column two, let's add some, uh, some buttons here, right? Now we can use the Bootstrap website to figure out what to add here quite quickly but before we do that let's just do a quick rundown of this I'll just say div and put home like that let me put a class of button just for now so there's home there yeah, and then background primary. Let's see. Okay, so that's a button right there. Text white. So this is not the final thing, but I just want to see what will happen. Okay. Let me add uh, padding of no margin of one. That way it leaves some space around it good let's put a width of 100 percent there we go 
So if I duplicate this a couple of times, uh, home, uh, let's put log out here. Let's put products here. Okay, so that's what we get. Now I want this responsive. So let's try the responsive view and see what we get. So I'm going to go here and say responsive design. So as you can see, uh, the minimum width we have here is, what is the minimum width? Let me go to partials and header. The minimum is 350 pixels. So let's see how things work up to 350 pixels, which is right about here. This is not looking so hot, is it? So let's fix this real quickly. And the, where is my view? Okay, there we go. So I want this column not to maintain a two column thingy, but I want when I get to the, uh, to the mobile view, let's start with mobile first. I'll tell it that I want it to be at 12 column width. So that's the maximum width here. So if I refresh, you see, it goes all the way to the end. But then I want at a specific level, if I move like this to a specific place, this isn't looking so good at this point. So let's tell it that when we're on the medium view, because there's large, there's small. Small is really this one now. So there's medium and then there's large and then I think there's uh, extra large Blech. I don't know column so let's do the one for the medium and tell it at medium view I want this to have four columns so let's see if that will obey so where is the medium ah there we go it snaps boom 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 now it's not seem too late because this is quite huge here. So let's see, maybe we have a small version. I don't know. I think there is. So let's do small. Let's give it four as well. Ah, there we go. So when we move and reach somewhere here, it becomes maximum and then boom. Okay, so instead of I think four is okay. Uh, this is okay. Let's move. It stretches. Still giving us four. But as we grow bigger, we may want to go down to three. Yeah, there we go. So it will snap at some point. Boom, 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 boom. And then finally, on the large one, this is still too big. So let's do one more for the large, large and large. So LG uh, four, we want four columns only on the large. That's actually quite big. We want to, uh, let's go here and refresh. Okay, so that's how we make responsive design with uh, Bootstrap. So this squeezes too much, but it's okay. It's still readable and all that. So you can always adjust the number of columns here. If you think it's too squeezed at some point, just change it. Uh, this could be five, this could be four. Just test things and see what works best. Okay. And so there we go. So now we have the admin and we can have a subtitle here for the dashboard. So instead of home, we have dashboard. Then that looks more uh, like the admin section, yes. Dashboard. Okay, very good. We'll continue this design in the next video and actually put some stuff for our products view here. I'll see you in the next video.